after our first three episodes, I'm confident you're ready to shoot your first video. But before you do that, I have a couple of little tips and tricks that are going to help you create more engaging video. Welcome back. All right, so let's start with some camera tricks that you can use in order to create more engaging video. Let's think of camera angles. Camera has different shots, different size of the shots and different angles. And let's talk about the wide shot right there. The wide shot is gonna set us in a place. This is what you use when you wanna let people know where you are so they understand the context of the video you're shooting. From the wide shot, we can go to the medium shot. The medium shot, you've seen it many times in the news, for example, right? In this shot where the camera is at our eye level and we're having a conversation. It's almost like we're having a coffee together. There's another shot, if I wanna get a little closer to you, which is the close up. Now the close up is me showing you my face very close to you so you can sort of pay more attention to what I'm saying. You can see my eyes, you can see my emotions while I'm talking. So this is what you wanna use when you're trying to deliver that very key piece of messaging. If we go back to the medium shot, then we have the zoom. We used this one in our previous episode, so I'm going to check it out. The idea is that you go from a medium shot all the way to a close-up. So you're gonna get people to listen more to what you're saying. So that is the zoom. If you move the camera physically towards you, that's called a dolly. And if you wanna impress your video producer a little bit more, when you're planning your script, you already know maybe a couple of camera movements that you wanna use. So when you move the camera from left to right, that's called a pan. But when you move the camera from up, down, or down, up, that's called a tilt. Now there's also camera angles from the position of the camera. Let's take a look at those. So first, the low angle. The low angle is where the camera actually goes down, pointing up towards you, the subject. And that's gonna give you a little bit more authority. It's gonna give, make you look bigger for the viewer coming from a higher place, from the higher ground. So be careful how you use it. But it's basically the camera pointing up towards you. Then we have the high angle, which is basically the opposite. Just the camera a lot higher, pointing down towards you. Now you are the one that should be listening. You're the one who looks smaller. Use these two angles wisely. There's also a new thing called the podcast shot. And I'm going to give you an example. And this is something a lot of people have been using just to get um, the feeling that you're watching an interview. So basically what you do, put on your headphones, keep talking, and switch camera from a camera that you're not looking directly, like this one here. So now I start talking towards someone and it can change the angle a little bit. So I'm having a interview with you right there. Yes, I'm giving you my opinion about something important. And suddenly the viewers then like, oh, I'm watching two people talking. But after all, it's just me. I'm just me talking to you. You see this a lot on LinkedIn, people pretending to be in a podcast just to get a little more interest from the audience. It works, you get a test. Now that we're getting a little bit deeper, let's talk about the rule of third. The rule of third, what it does, is a technique that it will get the attention of the viewer to a certain specific part of the image. And the way you do it is to split your frame into nine little squares. When your subject is using more than one or two squares, that's where the attention wants to go. If you use two frames or two little squares to have your subject in the middle or in the side, that's where the attention is going to go. And that way you can create a more engaging and a more focused uh, framing of the picture. There's something else that's going to help you to get your video more engaging, which is the B-rolls. And the B-rolls is basically extra footage that's going to help you balance just not having a, a talking head in the middle of your video, but showing things. Like, for example, if you're explaining people how to do something with the phone, then you're going to have a shot, a close-up of the phone. Or, for example, if I want to show people, well, I'm starting my video, I will use the footage of me sitting down, which is not me saying anything, but it's an extra footage. So think for the B-roll as extra material that you can use to keep people entertain and people engaged. And with that being said, the most engaging thing you can do for a video is your presence. The more you prepare for your video and the more engaging you are as a person, bringing your charisma out, bringing your knowledge out, that's when I get the people to watch your video. That's what's gonna get the people to watch the whole video. Try different things that are gonna make you stand out from the crowd. After all, everybody's making video today. So how are you gonna make the difference? In my opinion, it's you and your experience. So hopefully this is going to give you enough tools to go ahead and shoot that first video. And after you're done, we're going to cover what to do with those videos in the next episodes. So stick around, subscribe to our channel, like this video, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.